Okay, it's a lovely sunny morning here in the southwest England. Okay, to your Devon. Um, off out later, but thought uh, I'd show you something that arrived the other day, pretty ropey. And it's this. A little uh, Roberts again. One of their sort of newer, not newest models, but um, probably from the 80s, this one. RFM3. I'll say it's a lovely little size really, it's it's not a pocket radio but it certainly uh, sit on a, a bedside table very nicely. A few things were wrong with it, um, initially visually it's uh, LF, MF, long frequency, medium frequency, it's normally long wave, medium wave and VHF so there's a top missing off the button, handles come unclipped the screws that hold the chassis in are both missing so that's uh, a key that we might be uh, in problems here um, so yeah, overall outside sides look fine there's no damage to the the lever cloth on it although it's uh, just popped out a little bit it just needs tucking back in it's all there apart from that top really Aerial, yeah, aerial's pretty good. It's a little bit bent where someone's um, not quite pulled it out properly. And the base has come undone, but uh, I might be able to screw that back in. So, definitely, the aerial is salvageable. So look underneath so we've got the little turntable on the bottom which we have got to have so let's open it up and all you do with these is you just pull down on that pop the uh, teak base out okay so you can see the um, power supply connections disconnected it's all like wrapped up in around inside as well so I can don't think I could screw it back if I tried. So someone's definitely been in this. Another thing I can see is we have no battery terminals. That's because, let's see if I can get you in there. Let's see. Okay, if you can see the two wires just there, so we get a bit of light. There we go. But um, yeah, battery terminals have just been cut off. That's a shame. But as I say, that's an easy fix. I've got some extra ones. It would have taken a PP9 this one, which is uh, one of these. Just slipped in there. Bit of a tight fix but uh, <laughs> yeah very tight fit actually let's make the radio a bit heavy as well probably would have been better with a pp3 or a couple pp3s um so yeah it's looks a bit worse for wear this one it's certainly been messed with there's bits and screws missing the ferrite if you see the ferrite aerials uh, flopping about in this, that's come off of its housing. So I don't think it'd be that difficult to get off the out of the chassis. The screws burrowed over for the aerial. Yeah, someone's done a number on that one. Do you really need to tighten an aerial up that tight? Dear, oh dear. So I'm a little bit uh, far in. So, stick the uh, fending screw in. As I say, normally you've got to pop the 
handle off. Yeah, normally you've got two screws in here, you've got to un undo. I'm going to take these off anyway, so I'll need to clean the sides at a later date. So, there we have the chassis. Let's just pop that speaker out as well so the whole thing's out and get the case out of the way then. Speaker in two clamps. I'll slide it out. Let's get the case out of the way. So I thought before I try powering this up, I'd have a look just to see what's gone on inside. So again, we've got a couple ICs in this one. Probably an IF amplifier chip, and I would think um, an audio amplifier chip. But it looks like there's not a lot of coils or anything in here, there's a couple of trimmers but yes yeah, two ICs and you can see a little bit clearer now what's happening here <laughs> so that's getting a little bit closer so you can see the two battery terminals off there the ferrite Hopefully, there's none of these wires broken. Doesn't look like it. Slot that back in. So I think this set's probably been dropped, I would suspect. Yeah, it's not, uh, not been very well. Around the <laughs> dear, oh dear. So, has any work been done on the board? Let's have a look. Some rough solder in there around the antenna connection, around the tuning capacitor. That looks like it's been tampered with. Capacitors all look original. some power on it and see what we do. It says pin negative. As long as no one's messed about and uh, reversed these. Just check that with a multimeter a minute. Continuity really, oh, it's a bit bent that one. What's up in there? If I roll over that with my chair, I expect. Hmm. 
Yeah, set to pin negative. So this is a nine volt set. So let's pop my power supply in. Hopefully it's not been twiddled to hell. I suspect it's um, someone's put the power supply in backwards again. not drawing too much current. Just getting a little little pop in the speaker. should do is see if I've got any voltages for these chips. So we've got IC2, IC3, so there must be another one in here somewhere. There's a couple of diodes in underneath there. Spot the other IC. Ah, here we go, I see one. Oh no, that would be the audio chip up there, I would have thought. I see one. One thing that's definitely lacking in this board is any transistors, look. Hm. Not a transistor in sight, as far as I can see. So what I'm going to do is check the power route in and through and just trace back some voltages. So bear with me. I'll also see if I can dig some service info out on this one. <laughs> 